Hi everyone. If you've been trying to figure out how to install Android apps or games whose package files are of type XAPK on Google's Android emulator, please follow the instructions that I'll be explaining shortly. But first, let me get an XAPK file from apkpure.com for this demo. So here I'll just download the XAPK file of this Subway Surfer game. Okay, now I've got an XAPK file, so let's get started. The first step of installing an XAPK file on an Android device is to extract its content. An XAPK file is basically just a zip file containing the actual APK files of the app. You can use virtually any file archiver programs, such as 7-Zip or Winner to extract it. If you don't have any file archiver, you can download 7-Zip from this website. It's a free, open source file archiver. So now I'll just extract this XAPK file using 7-Zip. Once extracted, open the folder containing the extracted files. So as you can see here, the Subway Surfer XAPK file contains two APK files. Now to install this game, we will have to install both of them at once, using the ADB command line tool. If your XAPK file contains 10 APK files, you will have to install all the 10 of them at once, or with a single command line and not one by one. Therefore, to make our lives easier later when typing the command line parameters, let's rename the containing folder of this APK files to a shorter one. And then temporarily move this folder to the root of your drive, probably C drive or D drive. For my case here, I'll just move it to the root of my C drive. Now run your Google's Android emulator if it's not yet running. Then open the command prompt and run it as administrator. Now before we can execute the ADB command line tool, we will need to change the command prompt's current directory to the ADB tools directory. To do that, open your file explorer, go to C drive, and then open program files. And then Google, play games developer emulator, current, and finally emulator. Now click anywhere on the empty area of the address bar to select the full path of this directory. After that, right click on it and then click copy. Now go back to the command prompt, type CD followed by a white space, and then right click anywhere on the command prompt to paste the full path of the ADB tool we just copied. After that, simply press enter on the keyboard to change the current directory to the ADB's directory. If you do not want to repeat this step, the next time you install another app, you can add the ADB tool's full path to your system's path. To do that, click the Windows Start Menu button and then type Advanced System Settings. Then click the View Advanced System Settings to open the System Properties dialog. On the System Properties dialog, click Environment Variables. Under System Variables, select Path and then click Edit. On the Edit Environment variable, click New, and then paste the ADB tool's full path we copied just now. After that, click OK on all the open dialogs. With the ADB tool's path now added to the system's path, next time you will be able to call the ADB from any directory. All right, now before I type in the command line, let me first open the folder containing the Subway Surfer APK files, and then arrange the windows for easy lookup. So now on the command prompt, type in ADB followed by a white space, and then install dash multiple followed by a white space. And then the full paths and file names of all the APK files, each enclosed within double quotes and separated by a white space between them as the command parameters. For example, in my case here, for the first APK file, I will have to type in double quotes C colon backslash, subsurf backslash, followed by the APK file's name. To avoid typing the file name, which is prone to typo error, you can just copy it from the file explorer. To do that, click the file twice, but not double click it, then select the full name and then copy it. Now go back to the command prompt and then right click anywhere on it to paste the file name. After that, remember to add a closing double quote. And then for the second APK file, first add a white space at the end of the command line and then repeat the same steps we did just now. Please remember that you have to add all the APK files in your XAPK package to this command line. So once you have typed in all the APK files full paths and names, simply press enter to begin the installation. If your app is successfully installed, you should get a success confirmation message like this. Now go to your emulator and you should see your app on the bottom slider. All right, so that's how easy it is to install XAPK files on Google Android Emulator for PC. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.